because this is a um, project um, about a place uh, which is traveling Russia and Estonia uh, called Setoma. This is the land of the Setos. Uh, I photographed this, this um, story because uh, they are living on the border with Russia. And since the, the restoration of Estonian independence, for the first time, they have been, been their territories has been cut by the border. Um, and before it has never been the case. Uh, before uh, it has been either in USSR or in Russia or in Estonia, but never been divided. The border there is still not ratified uh, by Moscow, so that's why I came. The treaty is not ratified, so that's why, that's why I came there. And then the aim was to speak about this territory and this border, and on the border I met these settles, uh, which for me uh, were embody this uh, problematic. I spoke about these people um, in 1994 uh, somehow to come uh, over this uh, clear cut of the territory. They decided to make a kingdom, a kingdom which is at the same time in Russia and in Estonia, in order to somehow restore their culture which they were afraid to, to disappear. They made this new kingdom and uh, they took uh, back from their roots some, um, some historical facts and they actualized, them, actualized it uh, with uh, new stories uh, and they call it actually uh, ethnofuturism uh, to dig and to bring uh, something back to the present. So they, made, uh, they decided to, to have a king, a pagan uh, divinities, um, oh, okay. goddess or gods, uh, which is here, it's called Peko, and uh, this represents nowadays their, their king. And they, um, they made this king, they said that this king is resting in the Russian side of the border, here under uh, the monast a monastery. Every year they have to, because this, this king is a god, uh, so they cannot speak with, with, with him. Uh, so they have a vice king, which they call Ulem Sotska. Here is a king and a vice king, which is elected every year. And, um, and so here is a picture which I really like, these tone ones for what they represent. Here we are in Russia, uh, in the monastery, where the king uh, rests under the ground, like what they said. And here is the Pope of the Setos. Um, He's very old, he's just of Estonian roots, <coughs> and now he's living in, uh, in Russia. He's very re respected by the, by the settled. Uh, and let me take a picture and, and, and say, ask him different names. He's very dynamic, and, but very old. He just had like 10 minutes for the picture. I was afraid of, of missing the picture. It's like uh, not digital, so I can see if it's good. This is uh, all analog photography.